Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I wanted to speak to you about some of the concerns you might have surrounding the Great Lakes and specifically Lake Superior. Well, there's uh, an assumption of jurisdiction by the settler governments here, in particular the Canadian and the American governments, and the states and the provinces that are in close proximity to the Great Lakes. We have a lot of reserved jurisdictions as the indigenous tribes and the indigenous governments. And again, that's never been extinguished. We've sat back, we've watched. It was illegal for us. We were murdered, we were killed up till the 1950s when we started to talk about the assertion of our reserved jurisdictions. And when it became legal for us to actually start talking about it, confronting it, addressing it, we found that the condition of the Great Lakes were in dire straits. We look at the introduction of smelts back in the early 1940s, eradicated our natural native trout populations across the Great Lakes. We look at the introduction of uh, the, um, the sports fishermen and the uh, different, um, I guess, people, anglers, mm -hmm. uh, wanted to see the introduction of salmon again carnivores, eradicated our natural native fishery. We see the International Joint Commission opening up compensating gates in Sault Ste. Marie based on corporate interests, flooding our, our wild rice beds, flooding our spawning grounds, like without even any caution to the First Nations, without any real substance for our input in how the Great Lakes are managed. We have reserved jurisdiction. We as the native people around the Great Lakes, in particular in Ontario, 133 First Nation tribes have said, no more eradicating of our environment, no more raping the lakes, no more management by the foreigners of the Great Lakes. We are taking a jurisdiction back over in Ontario and we made a water declaration. This water is in the care and control of the First Nations people. This assumption of jurisdiction and making these, decision, these decisions on the part of these visiting governments is so far away from the legal reality of what actually the visitors have as law and jurisdiction. So it's a challenge for us. So I'm here to make those types of statements. No more. We cannot condone it. The environment can condone it. We can't condone the corporate interests. We can't compromise our environment anymore. We can't live with the possibility of pipelines breaking in the water. We look at the Mackinac Straits in Michigan, between Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. If that pipeline under the water ever busts, it's going to really have a huge detrimental effect on the quality of life of probably 15 million people around Lake Michigan and Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. And it's just terrible. There's no, there doesn't seem to be this long-term thinking on the part of the settler governments here. And how confident are you that you will get control back? Well, I have to make the assertion. Mm -hmm. I have a long litany of my ancestors that have put me into this position today to make these assertions. We have to make the assertions. We are going to sit at the tables that we set mm -hmm. around jurisdiction. We can sit at these tables where, where we are five or six levels down from actually having any real input into things. Mm -hmm. We can endorse that. We are the first level of government with regards to the Great Lakes management and jurisdiction. And is there um, a chance of reversing the damage or do you think it's too late? Well, prayer, ceremony, indigenous knowledge, can take us a long way. We There needs to be investments and it needs to be designed and implemented and managed by indigenous leadership based on our cultural values. Our historical, still knowledgeable people have that awareness on how we can fix things. It's gonna take time. It's not gonna happen overnight. It took us 500 years to get this far with the, the, the erosion. It's going to take us quite a while to get back to where we need to be with the quality of the Great Lakes. Well, thank you very much for taking the time thank to you. speak with us. Chief, thank you, Nam. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Take, take care. care. Help TVO create a better world through the power of learning. Visit TVO.org and make a tax-deductible donation today.